Hey everybody, Pepper Chronicles here. Um, thought I'd do another update real quick on uh, my super hot pepper garden um, that's still indoors. Um, it's the 24th of March, and um, I recently got the uh, a new grow light, a LED grow light, the Solar Flare. It's a 200 watt uh, Solar Flare LED grow light, and I said I'd be doing uh, regular updates. Um, just letting you know uh, my experience so far with the light and how my plants have responded. And I know a lot of my plants, if you look, um, have got really just some crazy looking wonky leaves. And the light with this, the color with this light on is, is really, it's kind of hard to gauge. But I, I got to tell you that um, since I've put this light over my plants, it's been... I'm just guessing it's been about I, I think I'm thinking two weeks maybe a little longer with most of the plants that are under this light the, the new growth that I've seen is is absolutely amazing I, I can't believe it um, this yellow brain strain if I zoom in here it's already got a flower on it it's budding up like crazy um, um, this Assam boot Jalokia India carbon that I've got one of my worst looking plants before and now it's just exploding with uh, new growth it's really really looking the best it's ever looked and um, I'm, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed so far um, this uh, red scorpionero here it's also shooting out buds all over the place and it's got new growth all over it um, most of the plants are responding really well to the light I, I do have some odd uh, leaf formations and just uh, weird crinkly stuff going on with the leaves. Some of my plants are looking pretty sad, but I've also, this is my first time growing anything, so I'm sure I've done a lot of, uh, even with all the help I've had from great people like T. Mutter out there and, you know, the Chili Grower website, you know, even with all that help, I'm, st I'm still having some issues, and I think it's part of this, you know, trying to do too much and I've really tried to scale that back I've really I mean I've hardly fertilizing anything I'm just going just straight water right now with most of my plants and um, let me turn this light off so maybe the light that's underneath is a, so you guys can see a little better as far as the color of what's going on and it's a lot darker here because there's no I put this light up here temporarily just to give a little more light but you can see the color of some of these. I don't know if it's going to show through in video, but the light green that I was experiencing under the CFLs and the whatever I was whatever I was doing before, like on this plant here, which is a it's a seven pod primo. Um, the 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 leaf that and the new growth that's coming out here has gotten so dark green it's it's almost black in a way, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'll tell you the plant sure looks sure looks a lot better since I've had it under these lights so um, also this uh, this here is a turbo pube that um, as you can see how the leaves are all kind of turned down and facing downward it's been doing that for quite a long time but even this thing since I put it under the lights is it's got buds little buds all over it little hairy uh, little just just little hairy buds so I'm, I'm pretty excited about this uh, Light. I'm really thinking if, uh, with the with the flower production and stuff and everything, that I'm I'm gonna definitely keep some plants indoors this season and just just, just and just see what happens because uh, you know it's uh, I'm just impressed with the uh, growth so far and it's been I'd have to go count count the days to give an accurate time measure but I'm guessing about two weeks and I've got other newer plants and stuff that are in various stages of growth as you can see like uh, this here this this cherry bomb here took uh, it took like 25 days I almost gave up on it but uh, finally germinated now actually two of them germinated um, um, growing a few plants for uh, friends of mine like uh, you know, a couple of jalapenos and uh, 
chili teppins and stuff like that that I'm growing for friends. But um, overall, the plants are doing all right. This particular plant here, this seven pot brown, has been through absolute hell. I hacked the crap out of it, thought it had some kind of something going on. It does not look good at the moment. But uh, I've, been ha I've been having it set by the light there, by the, or closer to that, uh, that LED light, and it, and it looks like it's doing a little better. But um, some plants I've seen are actually reaching away from the light, like this particular plant here, which is a chocolate boot, I believe. Yeah, this chocolate boot Jalokia is uh, actually reaching for the CFL light and shying away from the from the LED light. And I've seen a couple of plants that have done that. So I don't know if it different species or just maybe plants in different stages of growth just can't handle that intense light right away if they're not used to it, apparently. But um, anyways, I just thought I'd give a quick update. Um, Tell you that I've, I am I am impressed with this uh, LED light so far. Um, I'm thinking it's going to do good. It's, it's uh, going to do well for me. And um, I'll do another video here. I think as we get closer to plan out time, so we're in another month or so. You know, or if or if I actually get some pause or something, I'll definitely throw up a video. But until um, next time, we'll see you later.